Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about this painting and this painting I got at the flea market actually at a furniture store and it was painted by a 13 year old don't worry I'm, I'll bring up the painting again and it was her first, first painting that she sold um, she started painting when her father passed away and now her grandparents so this is the card and this is the flea market I buy my magic cards at by the way it's, I took Austin there today um, to just have fun. I mean, we hang out pretty much once a week. And I got this painting for about for, for $40. Exactly $40. I was going to say about $40, but why would I say that? Because it was $40. And it was made by a 13-year-old who enjoys painting. And one of the things I told uh, Ian and Elaine, and I'll probably buy some furniture for my company from that store. They're a really nice couple. Uh, it's they're an older couple I think they are her grandparents was you know art has value and you want to encourage people or you want to encourage younger people to do art and to say that hey what you are doing has value to society and because artists are sometimes very very mistreated I'm going to use my example one of the artists I hired frequently to do the MTG images and the logos and the theme songs and all that stuff that goes around in this channel. I'm pretty sure that you guys know if you follow me on my other channels, not my non-magic channels, you've seen a shift in logos. Uh, she has done that. I'm not going to mention her name because this is something that I wanted to throw out there and have a discussion. Well, she met a person from the Facebook group uh, she normally does her digital stuff, so it does not include a playmat, but it's your digital copyright on it. So you own the image and you can print a playmat play for yourself. She normally does it for 80 to, I, think, I believe the highest price we've done was 120 for a very complex one. She took, the guy paid her $20, she completed a playmat, and it was he was supposed to pay her $80, he didn't believe the art was worth $80. The playmat is pretty gorgeous. It's just not for me. It is a affinity playmat. I forget what the character is of, but it's not really a princess, so I, I couldn't buy it. Otherwise, I would have just bought it. But that's how people in Magic Gathering treat artists sometimes. They will meet them in a Facebook group. They will commission XYZ, and then suddenly they don't pay for it because they don't believe it's worth it. And I'm here to tell you, and to go on the bigger rant of givers and takers in our community. So I'm fortunate enough that I have uh, a very good job. It pays well. I've never hidden that fact. I don't beg for money. I don't, <laughs> there's no reason. Uh, I would make more money doing whatever I'm doing, the degrees behind you, than I would doing an elaborate marketing scheme, which I was like, oh, you know, I really need money. So there are givers and there are takers and are, just like our own community, but in our community, I know this a lot better because I'm part of it. I volunteer to do the marketing pro bono. I volunteer to do some of the legal works pro bono at a at artist warehouse. And a lot of times I also do the financy stuff to figure out how they can break even and where they need to sell it. There's been occasions which I bought paintings that, you know, I bought them only so that they could feed their family. I don't need them in there or in storage and they're not really my style and it's hard for me to buy something that I know I would put in storage because I know someone else will enjoy it, but to put food on that other person's table, I will gladly do so. So that's what we're going to talk about the cosplayer. I'm not going to mention her name again. I didn't make a video. I don't want to bring her into some more of this drama. And I know everyone's, oh, well, by, by, by mentioning her, you're bringing her into drama. No, I'm just having an honest discussion and that's that. There are givers and takers in our community. If you are able to give, you should give. The one thing I've seen um, that has offended me the most, and I know people say, oh, you're offended now. You're offended. No, but it, it, this is how life goes. If you have a good life and you are in a position to give something to somebody, then give them. Give them inspiration if you don't have money. Give them, you know, buy, what's, what does this cost? 
It cost forty dollars, but for and it is her first painting, and I'm probably going to buy some furniture. And all this is local. This is from a Spanish flea market, La Estrella Flea Market. Like I go uh, Austin. I took Austin there today, and we hung out, and I think he enjoyed it. Either that, or he was very scared. He probably was very scared because it's not you know it's not probably the safest place that to have a uh, flea market at. But regardless. There are givers and there are takers. I always feel that if you're in a position to give, why take? Why keep taking from the community? And you might say, oh, MTG Lion, don't you have a Patreon? I've said this a million times, the Patreon makes no money. It makes no money. You can check it, the Patreon is probably $100 right now, but if you're in a $60, that's a fat pack, that's the artwork, that's the post-its, that's sending it to Australia, and you know, Jeremy will back this up, and, Lots and lots of stamps. And that's it. Um, if you are a $20 thing, which I think just one person is, uh, Adam, you just get cards worth relatively $20 after mine posted and just cost, right? There are people in our community who we need to give money to because they create great content and they're not in the position where they can just you know, they, they have maybe a stable job. I'll use the cosplayer as an example. It doesn't seem like she has a job and people have criticized her for that. I find it absolutely ridiculous for when you criticize someone for following their passion. And you might say, oh, why, why do you say this about her and not about MTG Mag Pro Magic players? I feel the same way. I just want to be realistic about it where the probability of success is very, very small. So, there are givers and there are takers, and in our community, that is true too, because it's actually a shared community. It's a warehouse of 18 different artists. Um, some of them give and some of them take. But I'm here to tell you, it feels a lot better to be a giver and to help and to volunteer and to do a pro bono, to set up their art shows, to do their um, art galleries, to help them and promote them, which, you know, they couldn't afford my services. They cannot. I mean, I charge too much for a small business to hire me, um, unless you have like a lot of money. But for them, I do pro bono work. That's the same reason I volunteer at animal shelters, because I help with the marketing. It's like this. I volunteer at an animal shelter. I am not volunteering. I'm volunteering not to sleep with the cats and read the books. That's not my skill set. My skill set is, uh-oh, we're in legal trouble. Uh-oh, this dog bit this dog. owner. Uh-oh, like what can we do? And I help them draft letters, I help them do their marketing, I help them get the puppies out there. And then only after that's done, almost like treating it as a non-paid job, do I get to sleep with the kitties and the... And that's the fun part, right? Uh, I no longer, I don't, and I've never scooped the poop, which sucks, but you know, I mean, come on, I'm kind of just doing some of the legal and financy stuff for them. So I think that's a little bit, that's just as bad as scooping the poop. Uh, so that's kind of a trade-off, at least for me. Uh, I've been volunteered there in a few months, and I feel bad about that, but since I adopted Norman, I will go there because he does like playing. He does like playing in the backyard with the other dogs, and I think that's very good because he doesn't get to hang out with a lot of dogs. He gets to hang out with a lot of people, but not dogs. So my point is there are givers and there are takers. If you are in a position to give, then give. Do not take. And that's it. That's it. Like, I don't want to make another like, video about a scam or this. It's not really a scam. Like, it's hard for me to explain. It's not a scam. It's just how reality is. Reality is if you are well off, you're in a good position, and you, right now, in this time of your life, maybe later on you are not, and, you, and then you ask yourself, you know, I wish I had given when I had something. And then maybe it would return to me when I don't. So I, I didn't grow up rich. Um, I didn't, everything I have, all the degrees, all the certifications, everything I have, I've earned tooth, I've, tooth and nail. But I took art class lessons and at the local Michaels, as well as we had an art teacher who did anime. I've always wanted to be an artist, but I knew that, um, and this is a tiger picture, it's, can you imagine the 13 year old made this um, and you know, this, she had to, from what I had talked to her grandparents, 
they had a pretty um, 13 years old to do something like this it's really incredible so of course I'm gonna buy for whatever they ask for it like I was like all right I'll come back next week I'll take Austin with me next week and we'll buy it that's also kind of interesting because uh, you wouldn't believe the story unless you know you confirm it with Austin because it's pretty crazy you know to have um, her father pass away and then now she's being raised by her grandparents and she's 13 and now she's doing this amazing work yeah of course I'm gonna buy more and support her because I can I can afford to support people who want to do magic the gathering altars I can I mean we I have so many altars and it's always market price I don't nickel and dime you like if you want to pay this price for it fine this is what you value your time at then I will say okay that's good here's the payment because I deal with freelancers all the time so I'm not like I understand how much stuff costs so when I heard about my artist um, who does she did the new Lily and she's done the folios and stuff and just how she worked so many hours the guy just didn't pay her the guy paid her $20 deposit when we do work together, I either give her the whole deposit or I give her half until it's finished for a larger project. But if it's like logo or something, I'll just, if it's something for my business, I'll give her the whole amount up front. So I wanted to make this video and just tell you like what my general feelings are because like you can say scam, not scam. That's not what I mean. I just mean that if you have the opportunity and you are in a good place in life right now, there are some people who are not in as ideal places as you um, and they can be people, they can be animals, they can be organizations. Give. Uh, give. Um, and if you can hire an artist, treat them correctly. Pay them a good wage and pay them the full wage because it drives me crazy that the MTG community puts such little weight into the artist, the freelance artist. Um, and that is I can tell you from my experience in the art realm, how, having helped dozens, if not close to a hundred different artists around Houston, uh, how to do marketing, how to do the finances, how to break even, they're, they're just at break even. I mean, they're not making too much money. And how to even like, you know, say this is a reproduction of this. There's some legal copyright issues, of course, involved that I do give opinions about. It's. You know, it's a community and people help each other and the people who can give, give and the people who need to take, take. But the worst case in my experience is someone who does not need to take, keep asking for donation after donation after donation where it's clear to me they should be a giver but all they are interested in is taking and taking and taking. I mean, how much? This is $40, right? This is her first painting suit has sold and I'm going to market it on my personal social media, which you guys don't know of, but I do have a personal social media, which is even bigger than MTG Lion, uh, on LinkedIn at least. Um, and I just love it because I'm going to buy more. Um, I'm going to go visit the furniture store. <laughs> it's such a weird thing, you know, to buy at a flea market in a furniture store and then, you know, have the story and uh, have Austin be there with me. I, I just found it incredible. Like, what's forty dollars to inspire someone to create more art and to tell them at a young age that your art is worth money and you should keep doing it and you should follow your passion. That's the same way where if you donate to a cosplayer, what amount? What's forty dollars donating to someone to tell them, hey, I enjoy your work. I saw you in the GP. You did amazing. Or even just telling them that. Maybe you don't have forty dollars. That's my biggest, I'm not holier than thou. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to tell you that artists really need support in our community. Artists need support everywhere. Uh, funding is non-existent. Patreons, the true Patreons, right? The, of the Medici or the Medici, there was that like Italian family. They no longer exist. You're not gonna find those people at the levels that I'm at where you're just starting. Yes, when you can make paintings that are worth $10,000. Yes, when you can publish books that sell hundreds of thousands of books. You don't need a Patreon at that point. You will find as many Patreons as you need. But when you are just starting and this is your first painting that you've ever sold and you're advertising in your 
grandparents' furniture store at a Spanish flea market where I was the only non-Hispanic person at that flea market of probably 200, 300, 400 people, then yes, you do need to start. Everyone needs a little bit, and you know, I am gonna put this in my office. Uh, I just gotta find a place for it. I think Austin wanted, uh, we, we decided to put it in the bathroom, but that's just because we have to find the nail, but it'll be moved to my office soon enough. So that's my opinion. If you are fortunate enough to give back to the magic community, that's what you should do. You should hire artists, you should hire alterists, you should hire cosplayers, you should hire and promote and market all these people who are having a tougher time than you are. And I'm not never afraid to put my money where my mouth is. Um, and yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'm very glad and I can't wait for my next Tiger image. Long video, I know, right? We're making long videos. But I felt like it was a heart-to-heart -heart video. I haven't made one in a while. And I just wanted you guys to know that that's my core philosophy. My core philosophy, I know I'm very lucky. I know I'm extremely lucky to have what I have today. And I know that there are people who are just as talented as me who were not as lucky. And I try to give back to them as much as possible. And along the lines of artists and artwork, you just have to look at the channel. I mean, we do so much. Of, we can, I commission so many altars that you don't even see. I'll make a binder. I commission lots and lots of file layers and they go all into a binder. I, because I don't have storage anymore, all my magic cards are actually at home, which I shouldn't say, but okay, I'm sad. But it's okay, I live in a safe neighborhood. And in Texas, we have guns. So yeah, you have guns. So anyway, um, that's it guys. Leave me a comment below and let me know. I mean, if you are a taker, I have nothing wrong with takers if they need it, right? If you need donations, you need money to keep going and you make a video and you're crying and if you live at, you know, your mom's uh, trailer, like you need, you need it. You will be a taker today, but you will be a giver tomorrow. But if you don't need the money and you keep taking donation after donation after donation, I do have an issue of that. Um, because I've met many, many people like that and they're just terrible people. Um, there's no other way for me to say it. They're just terrible people because all they think about is themselves and how they can make more money from my community that should be giving to each other. Uh, so anyway, that's it guys. Bye.